Resort today hosting the 50th annual Great Northern Concrete Toboggan Race. It's like a bobsled structure. It has usually four concrete skis that make contact with the snow. That's the part that has to be concrete. The rest of the toboggan has to have a safety roll cage that no one can get out of it. Uh, the five riders that ride in it and then a full steering and a full braking system for safety reasons. This is the first one that's ever happened in Atlantic Canada. We have 381 students here from 16 different universities all across the country. Well, the first thing it brings is energy and excitement. It's really neat to see the students here. Most of them have never been to Newfoundland and Labrador. Most of them have certainly never been to White Hills Resort. So they are excited. There's dancing, there's music, there's all sorts of things going on today. I think they're seeing the best of our part of the world, especially with the sun shining like it is. I'm excited. It's just I'm, excitement, I'm pumped. yeah. Yes, I'm stoked, especially because we're hosting. Like, it's, it's amazing. Honestly, I, I don't even think anything could make me less excited. Like, even if we crashed, it wasn't allowed to race. Like, it doesn't remove from any of the excitement. For people who've never sat in a concrete toboggan, describe what it's like sliding down the hill. Uh, it's like it's like normally like it's just normal skiing except you're enclosed in a uh, metal cube. <laughs> And so, um, how did you feel about uh, the race when it ended? Like, how did it go? We, we had a bumpy ride. We did shear one of our skis off during the run. Well, that's okay, because we got extra skis. <laughs> yeah, we crossed the finish line, though. We did a little bit of a jimmying to actually get it to cross. We had to rock it across the finish line. <laughs> but we, we crossed the finish line, so that's all that matters. And what does it mean to you to host the first race in Atlantic Canada? It's a huge honour for us actually. This has been probably eight months in the making for us. We've had weekly meetings to try and figure out the logistics to understand exactly what we need to do to bring the students in and out and back to St John's easily and smoothly and to give them the best possible experience. So for us to see it in action, it's really exciting. Speechless, proud, Beautiful, really, to, to see the whole picture come together and, and just be able to share our home here in Newfoundland Labrador with uh, students from all across the country who never really would have had that opportunity. Uh, if not for this, it's just amazing. It's really heartwarming, and, and that's really what the true Newfoundland Labrador hospitality is all about, and we're so glad to put it on display here for these four days.